Now, the riskier option is going to be the newer release, the Victor Wembanyama 2023 Optic Base 225. Why is it riskier? Because right now, the price for the raw card is probably going to be a little bit higher than it's going to be in a couple of months because Optic is still hitting the market from a single standpoint and people still consider it like the new flashy release. So it's going to cost you a little bit more money to get those gradable copies, but it's still only $11.50. The other reason why this is a little bit risky though, probably the, the bigger reason why this is risky is because how long can the PSA 10 sustain the $160 upside mark, right? So you got to make sure that you're checking nooffseason.com every day, checking the formula every day, because we update it every day for all of these cards, for every card. So, th- right, I think that like you could be in a situation where the ROI that I'm about to tell you exists now might not totally be there in a couple of months because I think the PSA 10 price could come down like it, like it always does. But then I do think that it could go back up when Wemby starts playing again. Right. So right now the numbers are phenomenal for this card. Essentially um, it's a 100% ROI, which means you, you, you only need to spend $998 and and 28 cents to make, to net a thousand dollars. And so we, again, we've taken into account all of your fees Likely sale price across all grades, according to the gem rate. And it's a much lower gem rate than Prism, but it's still giving you an $82 sale, essentially, that you'd be likely to get across all of them that you buy. So if you buy 31 of these, which is what the $998.20 would get you to grade them, you should come close to netting $1,000. Now, why I say come close is because I think that by the time you get these back from PSA, the $160 PSA 10 could come down a little bit, but man, it's, it sure is easy to eyeball optic in terms of centering. Um, 